So what's going on everyone, my name is Mr. Dalek JD and welcome to this Call of Duty Ghosts Extinction video where today I'm going to be talking to you about the achievements for the new Extinction Nightfall map in the Onslaught DLC. Now what I used to do with Black Ops 2 is every time a new zombie map came out we'd get the achievements a few days before the map pack and we go ahead and break down all the, all the achievements and see what we can get out of what we can expect in this map and uh, the achievements have now been uh, added to Xbox 360 for the achievements so if you go on there and look you'll see these new achievements so we're going to go ahead and look at all these new extinction achievements break them down and see what we can get out of these so with the last map which was point of contact when you got to the uh, city and then got to the cabin you'd unlock an achievement for those and we got very similar ones for the first two here pushing ahead gain access to the compound area in nightfall and then gain access to the facility in nightfall so the weapon facility is probably the last place where we can find this new weapon the third one is kill the breeder for the first time in nightfall and the breeder is this huge spider that you've seen in the trailers it's absolutely huge biggest alien boss by far that's been in extinction it's incredibly big i don't know exactly how we're going to go ahead and kill this but if we look in the next one it's quite interesting the next one is called speed slayer kill the breeder in less than five minutes in nightfall which means that this thing may take a really long time to kill which is really really interesting that it's gonna take it's gonna be a challenge to kill this thing in less than five minutes which is absolutely ridiculous now i'm going to talk about more about the breeder in a little bit when we go through these different achievements so the next one is turnabout is fair play kill 50 cryptids with the venom x weapon in nightfall now the cryptids are the names of the actual aliens and we now know what the new weapon is in extinction the new kind of scorpion-esque weapon it's called the venom x that's really awesome, kill 50 aliens with that. Next one is Nightfall Completionist. Complete all challenges and kill the breeder in Nightfall. So when we look at Point of Contact, we had all the challenges that you could do for each hive. And uh, if you complete a Point of Contact, completing all the challenges, you get yourself an achievement. And of course, at the end of Point of Contact, the final bit was to escape, uh, to run all the way from the end of the map back to the start and escape. But for this, it looks like the actual ending to uh, the nightfall map is killing the breeder that's the final thing you've got to do before you finish and complete this which is interesting it's a little bit different and I'm glad that we're not just running back to the evac point we actually have to do something the next one is throttled survival kill the breeder while using a relic in nightfall this is going to make it a little bit difficult now if you think with some of the relics we have we can have pistols only which is going to be absolutely ridiculous to take down a huge spider like this with only pistols and the other relics will just make this even harder so this is going to be quite a difficult achievement Next one is Phantom Exterminator, which is to kill five phantoms in one game. And the phantom is another new alien type, which is the one that kind of uh, goes invisible and like uh, goes through the air. So killing five of those in one game shouldn't be too difficult. But if it makes it sound like that, it can either be that it's just a kind of easy achievement to get. All these phantom aliens aren't that common and we won't see them around that often, but we'll just have to see. Pea Shooter. Kill a rhino with only a pistol in Nightfall. Now that is a hard achievement. I'm not going to lie. Especially if you put on a relic, killing a rhino using pistols only. That's going to be quite difficult. So I can imagine we'll have some sort of rapid fire pistols. Upgrade that full the way. Use the... Um, the uh, not explosive ammo, you'll be using the uh, armor piercing rounds with your pistol. That's the best way to go about killing a rhino. Now, these last two achievements are very, very interesting. So, we've never had anything uh, to like kind of discover or pick up in the extinction map, but we now have one achievement called Undiscovered Truths, which is to find all intels. So, there may be several different intels of like, I can't explain what they could be. They could mean like little kind of briefcases with like maybe a radio message of what's been happening or there'd be all sorts of different things. But this is kind of piecing a story together and we have to find all the intels, which is going to be really cool. Gives us a little bit of backstory. I guess the achievement Undiscovered Truths kind of tells us a little bit more about the story and uh, what really is going on here in this Alaskan uh, research facility. And this last one here, we have is extra XP with an exclamation mark. Complete the extra XP challenge and then destroy a hive in the Onslaught DLC package. Now I really have no idea what this is. The way it's spelled extra kind of makes it hint at maybe it's an Easter egg. I don't know, extra XP challenge. I don't know, guys, let me know what you think of what that could be in the comment section. I really hope Infinity will try and kind of put in these little Easter eggs because, you know, 
our community is so vast with the amount of uh, like how many Easter eggs there are in the zombies mode, Extinction is a completely different mode. So we shouldn't really compare the the two because they're just so different. But if they can implement these little Easter eggs, that would be epic. The intel's are obviously going to be a little bit interesting and uh, should re uh, uncover a little bit of Easter egg storyline. But this looks interesting with the extra XP. So we'll just have to see what happens when this map pack comes out. Do let me know down below in the comment section guys, are you excited to be playing the new Extinction Nightfall map when it releases next week, Tuesday the 28th of January? Any sort of achievements that pop out for you guys that are going to be a challenge or you're thinking, right, I need to grind this out, I need to go get this. It's some awesome 250G altogether out of all these achievements to add to your game score if you play this on Xbox. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. So if you want to see some Extinction Nightfall goodness, then I'll be posting some videos on the day of release, January the 28th, which is this coming Tuesday. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you get to see that as soon as the map pack comes out. You'll see some gameplay from myself. And I look forward to just covering Extinction Nightfall as best I can. If there's any Easter egg stuff, you know I'll be on top of that. I'll be trying to do my best for you guys. And be sure to follow my Twitter and Facebook links in the description. If you found this video informative, then be sure to give it a like rating. That would be all I ask for guys your support on my videos is absolutely amazing and i can't thank you guys enough so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys on my next video which will be tomorrow